Leica is a small, Portland-based animation studio known for some of the best stop-motion films in the last seven years. They combine traditional animation techniques with the latest computer graphics software and 3D printing technology to create groundbreaking innovations in the field of stop motion. Stop motion refers to a process of animation where a puppet, usually a wire or metal skeleton covered in foam or clay, is moved around in small increments by the animator. A photo is taken of each minute change to create an illusion of fluid movement. Sometimes, stop motion animators use a technique called replacement animation. This technique is especially useful for animating facial expressions. In the classic stop motion film, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington's head was animated this way. Animators fabricate replaceable parts of the head and face to create specific emotions that would otherwise not be possible with a single face. More than 700 replacement heads were sculpted by hands to give him a full range of emotional expression. But it was Leica's first feature film, Coraline, that catapulted this classic animation technique into the 21st century. By digitally sculpting each replacement head and then 3D printing them, animators were now able to create huge libraries of facial expressions for each character, resulting in subtle yet groundbreaking animated performances from otherwise inanimate puppets. 20,000 heads were printed by layering liquid glue in a bed of white powder. Each head was then hand-painted to add color. And with this rapid prototyping process in place, Leica keeps pushing the boundaries of what 3D printing can do for stop motion. For Paranorman, they printed with colored powder, and 33,000 heads were made, giving a wider range of emotional expression. For the box trolls, 52,000 heads were color printed, even smaller than before, and with more detailed facial features. To make their next film, Kubo and the Two Strings, required even more innovation. The former powder and glue printing process was not going to be able to handle the sharp edges and finer details dictated by the movie's unique production designs. For this, Leica worked with special state-of-the-art 3D printers and an outside team of programmers to be able to print the parts in tiny drops of colored plastic. As a result, we can expect to see beautiful, almost translucent colors on over 22 million different facial expressions, as well as the first puppet to be fully built from 3D printed parts, a character named Moonbeast. As one can imagine, maintaining consistent detail among thousands of printed parts still requires a ridiculous amount of old-fashioned analog labor. Because 3D prints have subtle color variations in each iteration, all of the heads must still go through a rigorous and time-consuming touch-up process by hand before even being animated. 3D printed animation is clearly just as complex, time-consuming, and expensive to produce as any other form of animation. After all, to animate is to create an entire film one individual frame at a time. However, Leica's success as an animation studio comes from their ability to blend the digital and the physical, to allow artistry to transcend both tradition and innovation, transporting us through our glossy screens into fantastical, tactile worlds populated by strangely familiar characters. It's amazing to see how far the team at Leica has pushed the medium, winning the respect and recognition of big players in the film and tech industries, and inspiring many other studios and animators to experiment with 3D printing. In an age where the highest grossing animated films are all computer generated, many had feared that traditional styles of animation like stop motion would become obsolete. Leica has proven that stop-motion animated films are not only commercially viable, but is an art form that's still evolving, thanks to 3D printing and some incredibly talented animators.